course, we're not all here tonight. Uh, Villanova has one major graduation a year, and I think probably the neighbors think that's a good thing. Um, and that occurs in May. But many of our program participants complete programs at different times of the year. And you certainly uh, are a group, a significant group, of a significant number that complete this very special program in August. And so it's our intention not to have a long, drawn-out ceremony. We dispense with academic attire, the temperature, and also the fact that most of you have gone through a graduation ceremony before. But it is a time to come together and to celebrate your achievement and to also thank not only you, but the people that support you throughout your academic career. And I Thank you. 
education. But this is a beginning, and I suspect that there are those of you, probably a large number, that will continue on, that will move into advanced nurse practice positions, that will move into higher education and nursing, and will continue the tradition, not just of our profession, but of Villanova. I hope you feel a part of Villanova, even though you haven't been with, with us as long as some students uh, are. I hope you will feel free to come back, to feel part of us, to know that you are always part of Villanova, um, that we consider you very important alumni. We will track your careers. We will wait to hear from you. We will appreciate and celebrate your accomplishments. And we start that this evening. I hope that all of you, parents, friends, spouses, siblings, and most of all, those of you who have completed this program and whom we all congratulate will have a very fine, fine evening. Enjoy yourselves. I also hope that you will have wonderful careers and very happy lives. Thank you. Our student speaker today is Susan Kennedy, who will be awarded her bachelor's degree in September. She will share with us her reflections of her nursing experience at Villanova. Well, we did it. <laughs> At times, I know for me that it seemed impossible, improbable, and starkly overwhelming to think that we could have completed such a rigorous workload under such a short period of time. But let's not underestimate the perseverance and positivity that this class of 2012 offers to the nursing world. A lot about nursing is related to numbers, and numbers resonate with me, so I was thinking of numbers as I was putting together this presentation. Um, there are good numbers in nursing, bad numbers in nursing, and we really need to know the difference. When we were nursing students, we were most concerned about what numbers were gonna be on the exam. <laughs> so in clinical, we made the connection from the textbook use of numbers to real life numbers, which translate into real people with real problems and real issues that we as nurses are there to assess, address, and take action on. So here are some numbers that help me put um, the BSN Express um, and the BSN experience into perspective. It's hard to believe it was 433 days ago. It may seem like 433 years to some of us, but we all gathered in that big room in Driscoll Hall. We were nervous and excited. We were confident in our nursing pursuits. We attended more than 2,000 hours of lectures, logged approximately 735 clinical hours, participated in no less than 10 group projects, dozens of le <laughs> most of those over the summer, right? <laughs> dozens of labs in the LRC, completed a score of paper, and along the way we've made a difference in the lives of hundreds of patients that we have interacted with. And most importantly, we have made connections and friendships with dozens and dozens of classmates and faculty that will last a lifetime. The culmination of all this work, all these numbers, today results in one piece of paper that confers the BSN in nursing on all of us. As I was preparing today, I was also searching the internet for some funny quotes on nursing. You know, you see those all the time. And I came across a site that had um, some things called, you know you're a nursing student when? So some of these resonated with me, so I thought I would share them with you. I'm sure you'll, I hope you, you'll agree. So the first is, you know you're a student nurse when you're walking around looking like a marshmallow in that stiff white lab coat. <laughs> okay, I know in my lab coat, Biff the Michelin Man had nothing on me. So people look at you weird when you throw medical terms into your daily conversations. My family knows this. At dinner, we would talk about things like shingalosis. Um, and uh, Dr. Erickson isn't here, but you know, my favorite one was transphenoidal hypophysectomy. So <laughs> throw that into your lexicon on a daily basis. People will be amazed. So another, you know you are a student nurse when 
you check on your patient every 20 minutes and ask them, how are you doing? Are you okay? Do you need anything? Until they are so sick, literally, they are sick of seeing you. <laughs> So you perform physical assessments, again, on your family. My poor family is here. They had to get their blood pressure taken 100 times before I could pass that blood pressure um, assessment. And of course, you have become the resident expert in diagnosing mystery diseases that everyone around you has. <laughs> you know, and again, talk about diagnosing. You self-diagnose all of the things that you read about in the lecture chapter, including mental illnesses. <laughs> so. The night before clinical, how about this? I know it happened to me. You're so anxious that you're not gonna wake up at five o'clock in the morning to get to clinical at six, that you don't sleep, but you do it anyways for fear that if you miss clinical, you have to spend like 25 hours of remediation in the LRC. <laughs> And lastly, you think about this, and as student nurses, and I'm sure as real nurses, um, when you watch Grey's Anatomy and Nurse Jackie, I know I do, and say, that never happens in real life. <laughs> so on a more serious note, Aristotle once said, the roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. Savor in the sweetness of this day and in all the education and experiences that we have had here at Villanova. What lies behind us and what lies ahead of us is only a tiny matter compared to what lies within us. What lies within all of us is the makings of great nurses, and we will all strive to make a difference in the lives of others. In the tradition of the Augustinians on which Villanova is founded, it is only fitting that I quote St. Augustine himself. Faith is to believe what you do not see. The reward of this faith is to see what you believe. I believe that our experiences at Villanova, while challenging at times, will mold our future and serve us as a foundation to advance the field of nursing and healthcare. It has been my privilege and honor to have known all of you, and I hope that we will all stay connected through the fabric of this BSN experience. We are now on the threshold of the real nursing world, and we know what we have to do, and I am confident that we will all succeed. Thank you very much. Thank you, Susan. Each year we recognize those students who have distinguished themselves either academically or through service to the College of Nursing. Although many students are involved with campus-wide activities, we specifically recognize those who have contributed to the College of Nursing activities and organizations on a consistent basis during their period of study as a bachelor's degree student. Dr. Angelina, Arkamon, Assistant Dean and Director of the Undergraduate Program, will acknowledge students' efforts by presenting them with Distinguished Service Certificates. As I read your name, please come forward to receive your certificate. Michael Barry. She was gonna take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> and Margaret Morrow. <laughs> the College of Nursing Medallion for Distinguished Academic Achievement is awarded to degree candidates whose performance has consistently been superior throughout their programs of study. Dr. Fitzpatrick will present this year's recipient Pamela Sanderson Di Donato with a Distinguished Academic Achievement Medallion. <laughs> Pamela Di Donato of Bluebell is an exceptional student and an exemplary member of the class of 2012. She will be graduating with a QPA of 4.0. Prior to coming to Villanova, Pamela completed a BA degree in economics and government at William and Mary University and an MA in public policy from the University of Chicago. She has been a positive presence in the College of Nursing 
and has been described as an excellent, enthusiastic, and independent student. Consistent with the Villanova University mission, Pamela is dedicated to serving others and has demonstrated strong leadership skills. Congratulations, Pamela. I am pleased to introduce a favorite of yours, Professor Marianne Lee, Clinical Assistant Professor and Coordinator of the BSN Express Program, who will offer her remarks. Thank you, Mrs. O'Driscoll. I am very happy to be here tonight, and I have to tell you, and I say this every year because it's true, this is one of my favorite nights of the year because I really get to see all of you a little more relaxed, a little more refreshed. There's really not one crazed eye in the group. I just don't see it. And we're very happy for you. Congratulations for all of your hard work. Well done. I also want to um, congratulate your significant others. We do realize that you come to us with a lot of obligations, and in order to achieve what you have, you need the support of a lot of people, and many of whom I would think are here tonight. So thank you for your part in our graduates' success. And I especially want to acknowledge the children, and I would like the children to raise their hands. Come on, raise them high. There you are. Thank you for being patient. All of those times you needed or just wanted your mom and dad's attention and you had to be patient because they were studying or they were writing a paper. You did a great job in helping your mom and dad achieve what they have tonight. So a sincere thank you to you. I am really thrilled to welcome you into what I feel is one of the most honest and honorable professions. And I have always felt that it was a privilege to be a nurse because patients welcome us into their lives when they are most fragile, when they are most vulnerable. And they depend on us to provide care to them intelligently and with integrity. And you only need to be on the other side of the fence one time to realize that that's true and how important it is to know what nursing is about and to know what is the essence of nursing. Now, the bar has been, been held high for you by our wonderful faculty, and you have not disappointed. You have done a terrific job. And also, as Dean Fitzpatrick mentioned, with your previous life experiences and many of you with your previous degrees, you have brought many varied perspectives to the table and a richness to nursing. So as such, I think it would be interesting to share with everyone here tonight what are some of the characteristics of you individually and you as a class that have made you such a special group. And so, as we did in the beginning, remember when you used to have to stand up and introduce yourself? <laughs> you remember how much you love that, right? <laughs> well, we're going to do that one more time tonight, but you can relax because your crazed look is back, okay? <laughs> Just relax because I would like to have the honor to introduce you to each other and to this community here tonight for one last time as the class of 2012. You are teachers, singers, nannies, researchers, case managers, and homemakers. You are financial underwriters, business owners, massage therapists, crisis center phone counselors, and camp counselors. You are personal trainers and athletic trainers, and one of you attended West Point Military Academy and served as platoon leader and executive officer in the United States Army. You are Eagle Scouts, paramedics, 
and accountants, LPNs, EMTs, PCTs, CNAs, and PTAs. You are vet techs, ER techs, and surgical techs, and one of you was a Honolulu Zoo volunteer. <laughs> As a class, you experienced the Virginia earthquake, quickly followed by Hurricane Irene last October of 2011. You are soccer players, lacrosse players, volleyball players, rowers, sailors, kayakers, and hikers. You are wall climbers, rock climbers, and tough mutter com um, competition participants. You have coached basketball, soccer, rowing, and lacrosse, and one of you plays and teaches piano. You are expert at driving SEPTA security golf carts and at <laughs> horseback riding. And one of you provided horseback riding therapy for the disabled. You speak Spanish, Arabic, French, Hebrew, Mandarin, Cantonese, Yoruba, and Igbo. You have celebrated a couple of weddings, a couple of engagements, and we are awaiting the arrival of one baby. Still? He's here? Right. Baby Alexander has arrived. That's great. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you hail from various states outside of our tri-state area to include California, Florida, Hawaii, Iowa, Massachusetts, New York, South Carolina, Virginia, and Alaska by way of Oregon and Utah. Your class also has representatives from India, Malawi, Nova Scotia, Colombia, Ghana, and Nigeria. You have spent countless hours in the volunteer service of others in the United States and abroad. You have assisted surgeons as they perform operations on children with spinal deformities. You have cared for developmentally challenged individuals in your own home and for families at an AIDS center in South Africa. You served as patient advocates and participated in several Habitats for Humanities projects. One of you founded an organization entitled Nursing Without Borders, and one of you served in Afghanistan, was commissioned officer, and received two commendation medals. You have cared for countless patients and family members, and two of you, during your pediatric clinical rotation, took turns holding a dying baby so that she would not be alone. This, my dear friends, is the essence of nursing. Caring and caring enough to put yourself in a difficult situation to make a difference to someone else. And you have not only been learning about it while here at Villanova, you have been living it. You are a true inspiration to all of us. Thank you for choosing Villanova. It has been a pleasure to have you grace our halls. And we hope that you return to us. And when you do, we hope that you always feel like you are coming home and know that you will be welcomed with open arms. And so, in closing, I have three challenges for you. I challenge you to never underestimate your ability to inspire others, whether it's patients, family members, or future nursing students. Very soon, you are going to be that seasoned nurse that the student nurse is looking up to. And I hope that you always provide them with the time and the patience and the caring that as you sit here today, you know that they deserve. I challenge you to always deliver nursing care at such a high quality that every one of your patients feels like they are your only patient. And I challenge you to always remember to think carefully and care thoughtfully. Thank you.
Very, very nice, Mary. To recognize the BSN degree candidates, I now ask Dr. Leslie Perry, Assistant Associate Dean and Professor in the College of Nursing to come forward. <clears throat> As Dr. Perry reads your name, please stand, turn and face your families and or guests and remain standing until all names have been read. I ask that you please hold your applause until all names have been completed. Danelle Alexander, our new father. <laughs> Linda Asamoa, Megan B. Banigan, Michael Berry, Matthew Biggis, Kirsten Burs uh, sorry, Kirsten Borski, Borsig, sorry, I practice too. <laughs> Christine Balgunas. Stephanie Bretz, Emily Brown, Rima Brown, Moira Caitlin Bridget Briars, Megan Brzezowski, Shanisha, Shanisha Janir Butler, Kristen Capasso, John Colley, Dennis Chen, Robert C. Cole III, Jessica Cobb, Ashley Cohen, Megan Cook, Jacqueline Harrington Corbett, Rachel Coyle, Mark DeLeon, Carly Marie Detour, Pamela Sanderson DiDonato, Alita Dinkins, Jacqueline Doherty, Nicole Doherty, Jennifer Erdley, Diana Folk, Nancy Kajuski, Marina L. Gallo, Elena Gagan, Peter Jiang, Tamisha R. Gomez, Brittany Danielle Harris, Erica Hill, Eric Horn, Sheila Marie Hughes, Kyle Irwin, Jamie L. Isaac, Patricia Kane, Rose Kajiri, Kimberly Kalustian, Ruth Kang, Praveen Karananidi, Patrice Kearney Navarro, Susan Kennedy, Laura Kerchak, Lindsay E. Kimmel, Sami Kuriakosi, Trisha Kwakwi, Aaron Lewandowski, Devorah Lichtenstein, Casey Lieb, Joanne Martin, Anna Maxwell, Tara Mazio, Jacqueline McAllister, Jasmine Medina, Kathleen Marin, Eden Ariel Mikalik, Kendra Milton, Kenny Moe, Kelly Modes, Lisa Moran, Margaret Morrow, Zachary Mulhall, Benzie Ninen, Colleen Nutakoka, Kathleen O'Connell, Shannon O'Connor, Julie O'Donnell, Allison Orchardo, Miha Patel, Andy Peng, Melissa Rice, Lauren Alice Robinson, Elaine Maureen Rogers, Jeffrey Roman, 
Maria New Rohrer, Asha Car Carmelo Rossi, Melanie Santiago Rojas, Adriana Ruiz Billman, Stephanie Samar, Gabrielle Scopino, Jennifer Seibert, Glendora Silkut, Denise M. Skilling, Danielle M. Squadrito, Brittany Stark, Jennifer, Jennifer Stever, Caitlin Swift, Jennifer Tarnoff, Casey Taub, <laughs> Salam, Salam Gurma Tekia, Mary Trasinski, Dominique Villani, Naomi Wallace, Laura Widener, Rivka Weiss, Amanda Wyatt, Kelsey Kathleen Yasik. All right, I got everybody. Congratulations. I would like now to ask two mothers and their daughters, Marianne Lieb, Casey Lieb, Anne Chmedlin Brzezowski and Megan Brzezowski, and Anne McKenzie of the Nursing Alumni Association to please come forward. <clears throat> the College of Nursing PIN is a modification of the Villanova University seal, which reflects the symbols of the Order of St. Augustine. Within a blue border which reads, Villanova University, College of Nursing, are the three Latin words, veritas, unitas, caritas, which translated mean truth, unity, love. The significance of the pin is that it identifies these qualities as exemplified in alumni of the Villanova University College of Nursing. Today we have asked Professor Lieb, who graduated with her MSN from the college in 1985, to pin her daughter Casey, and Anne Chmedlin Brzezowski, who graduated from the BSN program in 1984, to pin, first of all, her daughter Megan and, and Obviously, Mary Ann pins her daughter, Casey. This is a symbol of the class's entry into the ranks of the alumni. through that without tears, <laughs> barely. Um, good evening, I'm delighted to be here on behalf of the board to welcome all of you into the Nursing Alumni Association. Um, as Dean Fitzpatrick and others have said tonight, this is not the end of your relationship with us. Uh, I hope you'll continue to use us, come back to us for networking with us and through us. Uh, I know you'll be, um, continue your relationship with both the university and the college, and uh, continue to support the next generation of Villanova nurses as well. And I've had the pleasure of meeting many of you and writing about you, uh, and certainly reading about every one of you, and I know you'll continue to raise the level of practice out there. But no matter where you go, no matter what you're doing, please remember that there are 7,000 of us plus waiting to welcome you into the profession and to support you. So thank you and enjoy the rest of your evening.
I also welcome you as fellow alumni and wish to extend my personal congratulations. I sincerely wish that you will all find personal happiness and professional happiness. Sheila Marie Hughes, a BSN candidate, will lead us in singing the alma mater. I invite you to please stand and join in. The words can be found on the last page of the program. After the alma mater, please remain standing. Professor Diane Ellis, clinical assistant professor in the College of Nursing, will offer the benediction, and then we will all go to Driscoll Hall for a reception on the first floor. Thank you. Please join me in singing your new alma mater. Congratulations. Father, we have knowledge, so will you show us now how to use it wisely and find a way somehow to make the world we live in a better place for those we care for and make life with its problems easier to face. Grant that all those who have placed in our care be abundantly blessed and not one of them be lost because of any neglect on our part. Grant us faith and courage and put purpose in our days and show us how to serve you and the patients we care for in effective ways. So our nursing education, nursing knowledge, and nursing skills may find their true fulfillment as we learn to do your will. And may we ever be aware in everything we do that knowledge comes from learning and wisdom comes from you. Amen. <laughs>